Hey guys, it's Dr. Jim Stepani here and I'm back talking again about protein spiking. The problem still exists, believe it or not. Now, a few years ago I brought up the problem and taught you what to look for and that's reading the ingredient list at the bottom of the supplement facts panel. And there you'll notice where the amino acids are added. Now what companies are doing, since I've taught you guys to look at the ingredients list, is they're neglecting to list the ingredient in the actual ingredients list. Now there's an easy way to still tell whether or not your protein is being spiked. Now let's look at a typical protein powder label. We'll look at the supplement facts panel. Now you'll see on this one that they claim that there's 25 grams of protein total. Now let's take a look at the scoop size. This is the total weight of the scoop, each serving, 33 grams. So in that scoop of 33 grams, you're getting what's claimed to be 25 grams of protein. Now they're also claiming that in addition to those 25 grams of protein, you're getting an additional five grams of branch chain amino acids and an additional five grams of glutamine. Well, let's do the math on just the protein and the branch chains and glutamine. It's 25 grams of protein plus five grams of branch chain amino acids plus five grams of glutamine, that equals 35 grams weight total. How can the total weight of those ingredients, 35 grams, be more than the total weight of the scoop size, 33 grams? It doesn't add up. In fact, that means that those 25 grams of protein aren't 25 grams of complete protein. In fact, it's only 15 grams of protein with five grams of branched chain amino acids and five grams of glutamine. Now branched chain amino acids and glutamine may be beneficial amino acids, but they are not complete proteins and therefore you're being lied to. Plus branched chain amino acids and glutamine are far cheaper to purchase than whey protein. So if you think you're getting 25 grams of whey protein, think again. You're getting considerably less and in many cases almost just half of what you think you're getting. So buyer beware, make sure you read the ingredients label, make sure you add up the math and make sure it equals what's in the scoop.